Hi, this is Noma Dimitri. You're seeing me with a serious face going down the garden with a bottle of beer in my hand. I'm up to no good at all. Um, in fact, the beer is not for me. It's for the guests. And the guests are very unwelcome and there are about a million of them that have just popped up. And this beer is the way, in fact, to get rid of them. These horrible guests are one of the worst pests a garden ever has. Slugs. Uh, no matter how much you want to live in harmony with nature and be nice to all the creatures in the world, um, the slugs have to go. Uh, they will eat everything you like. They will not eat weeds. They will eat all the lovelies, the tulips, all the tender little plants, all your flowers, everything. So they really have to go. Now to get them to go in an organic garden in which no pesticides are used is really, really tricky. Um, and beer is one of the ways of doing it. It's a soft way of getting rid of them and it's not super effective, but it has a local effect uh, and it gets rid of them for a small area, about a radius of about three feet or a meter. Um, and it's kind of a painful and dirty thing to do, but there's no other way. So here I'm going to show you how to do it. And then in another video I'll show you other ways of getting rid of the horrible, horrible slugs. So what we need is, so this is the beer. And this is, ah, there is a slug. There, are, there they are. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it here? There it is. The horrible slug is here. So it's edging towards its own trap. So this is the trap. The trap basically is a little bucket, okay? Um, where I'm gonna put it down here. And in this little bucket, which is just like an empty bucket, you're gonna open your little beer and you're gonna pour the beer inside. Okay, you're pouring the beer and once the beer is in, and this is really important because you don't want others to be drinking this, you just want your slugs to, and also if you have, um, if it rains, you don't want this to be filled up with water. Uh, slugs are also very selective, they only like fresh beers, so you have to do that every day every day. The good news is this little cup of beer is gonna trap about, I don't know, 50 slugs? So it makes a small difference. But every day you gotta do the same damn thing. And there's no, there are very few other ways. I'll talk about the other ways another time. So here is the little trap. Um, and the reason why you have, you perhaps you need to buy one or f make one on your own, the smart way is because it needs a hat. The hat of the, ba of the, of the trap which fits like this, okay, effectively makes, gives the space, the space in between that you see here for the damn slugs to go inside, but it, like a little umbrella, it shields the beer from getting full of water. So it's the perfect trap. The last thing that you need to do is to have a hole. Uh, where is the hole? Let's try to find the hole. Uh, Yes, the, you need to have a hole in the ground where you're gonna pose your little, where you're gonna place your little trap. So here's the thing, and then there's a hole in the ground. You need to get the trap, none of this is so beautiful. You need to get the trap about a few centimeters or an inch or two above the ground level. So here's the trap, and this is what it looks like waiting in between the strawberries. So the damn slugs, uh, from wherever they are, within about three feet or a meter of this trap here, are gonna smell the beer, they're gonna go inside, and they're gonna try to drink it, and then once they drink it, they will die. So tomorrow I will come back, I will pick this horrible trap inside, it's gonna be full of gooey, snot, disgusting snot, and about 50 dead slugs. I'm gonna dump it somewhere outside, and then I'm going to start all over again. And this is what you have to do if you want to keep your garden free of pesticides and free of slugs. Noma Dimitri in a miserable day in the garden. Take care.